A Mahoning County judge was using words like evil and unforgivable to describe a man convicted this morning of killing his own baby girl. As 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Richuda Judy tells us the defendant could spend the rest of his life in prison. Saying very little and often staring straight ahead, Mark Flora stood with his lawyer in front of a judge this morning pleading guilty to aggravated murder. Judge Scott Krishbaum then compared Flora to a character out of the Halloween series of horror movies. This is pure evil. This is Michael Myers kind of stuff here. Flora was arrested last August at his home in Camel after calling police saying he had killed his one-year-old daughter. Prosecutors say the child had been stabbed at least eight times. It's hard to imagine something that is more brutal than that. Although Flora's lawyer said there were no possible excuses for this crime, his client had suffered with mental health issues most of his life. An older family acquaintance would, would feed him LSD and psychedelic drugs for the amusement of watching a child run around and, and act crazy. But the victim's uncle, Flora's brother-in-law, told the judge the defendant needs to be held accountable. He knew what he did before he did it. He knew what he was doing while he was doing it. The charge against Flora calls for mandatory life imprisonment, but the judge questioned at one point why prosecutors never sought death penalty charges. Personally, frankly, life without parole is too nice for you. In the end, Krishbaum's sentence will allow Flora to come up for parole after 30 years behind bars, but the judge was quick to add he hopes Flora never gets released. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.